Well, Steve, this is Derby number 27 for you. What's your favorite Derby memory? Uh, probably watching the Derby with Wynton Marcellus. He was here uh, playing with the UofL band and giving a master class. And uh, I went down and asked him if he'd want to watch the Derby with me. And uh, we went up to the top of the pagoda and uh, I got to watch the Derby with Wynton Marcellus, which was uh, pretty awesome. That is awesome. What about in terms of the actual race? What's been your favorite race of the last 26 years? When Mind That Bird won, the Calvin Burrell's ride is just amazing, especially if you view it from the top. The way he finds that little split and then just zooms along the rail and comes up to win is just incredible. And I had a gut feeling that he was going to win, um, and I told my wife that but I didn't put any money on him and he went off at 50 to one. <laughs> Full capacity crowd back this year. What's it like playing in front of so many people? It's gonna be awesome. Um, when I start to play the call to the post for the Derby, after about three notes, the crowd kind of erupts. I miss that. Uh, from the derbies, the last couple derbies, so this is going to be really exciting. Always a lot of fun here on the infield. What's the funniest thing that might have happened to you over the last 26 years? Well, a couple years ago, there's a suite next to the pagoda, and they kept clapping for me after I played Call of the Post, and I thought that was really nice. Uh, and when the race is kind of stretched out in the afternoon, I went over to thank them. Well, then they learned my name. And so after that, every time I came out to play the Call of the Post, they would chant, Steve, 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 which made me just laugh. And it really released a lot of the stress uh, for that derby. It was, it was great. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, derby number 148 on Saturday. You've got a great view here, the best view in the house. You've been watching the horses. Who's going to win? Well, I've been really studying this, and uh, I really think the jockey in the white pants is gonna win.